Hey everybody, Jonathan Rose, Active Day Trader. Today we're gonna to be talking about arbitrage. Arbitrage, it's the holy grail of trading. What arbitrage really is, it's a risk-free trade. Now, there's not very many of them in the market, but professionals can spot them a little quicker than the retail trader. What I'm gonna show you right now is a form of arbitrage. Let me also say, we're going to be talking about something called closed end funds in front of you closed end fund connect cef connect this is not a topic i talk about very much outside of my coaching students because sometimes it presents more questions than answers so let me walk you through i think you'll understand it by the end of the video but i really want you to see that the trade makes sense that it's not just technical analysis it's not just subjective. We're not just looking at charts and guessing which way the market's going. So closed end fund connect. If you're not familiar with closed end funds, hey, go to Investopedia, read about them, Google. Quick search right here. I'm gonna put in ticker symbol Cuba. The Hertzville, Hertzfeld Caribbean Basin Fund, Cuba. Many people think that they invest in Cuba. They don't invest in Cuba. This is just called the Caribbean Basin Fund. How closed end funds work? Just like an open-end mutual fund, they have a net asset value. A net asset value is the combined value of all their holdings. So if this fund just owned Apple and Apple was trading at 200, the NAV, the net asset value, would be trading at 200. 802, where it's at currently, that's the total value of all the holdings within the fund. If you go to portfolio characteristics, which we'll do in a second, it'll show the holdings of the fund of Cuba. Now, closed end funds are different than open end funds, different than ETFs, because there's the NAV, but then the share price. And the share price is separate from the NAV. The share price should track the NAV, but it oftentimes trades at a premium or a discount. Right now, Cuba is trading at a 18.83% discount to its net asset value. $6.51 is 18.83% less than 802. If you scroll down on Closed End Fund Connect, you can see how it's traded historically, whether it's traded at a discount down here or a premium. Going back to 2015, here it was trading at a premium. That's right when the US fixed relations with Cuba all the retail investors jumped and tried to invest in Cuba. They all went to the Cuba fund. They got a sad surprise once they realized that, hey, there's no Cuba in the Cuba fund. Those guys got annihilated. But nevertheless, right now it's trading at an 18% discount. 18% discount to the fund's net asset value. Let me explain further. If we scroll up and we look at portfolio characteristics, I'm going to click on this. Here are the holdings of the fund. Maztec, Royal Caribbean, Copa, Lenar, and so forth. What you'll realize is that liquid equities is 99.81% of the fund. So this fund is just made up of public companies. The funds got a pool of money. They decided to invest that money in these companies. These companies added up all together are the net asset value. Right now, for whatever reason, Cuba is trading at an 18%, almost 90% discount to the net asset value. So you could buy a basket of stocks at the NAV for $8.02. Or you can buy the same basket of stocks in the open market for $6.51. 18% discount. See what we're saying here? These are plain vanilla stocks. They're not weird stocks. They're just Royal Caribbean, Lennar, cruise ships, hotels. Nothing really too weird. But for whatever reason, you're able to buy it right now for 18% less than the net asset value. Now here's where an arbitrage exists. And the arbitrage is not really available for the retail trader because what a professional trader will do or a professional trading shop or a hedge fund is they're going to take all these stocks they're going to replicate the basket they're going to replicate the nav just like cuba has 
And instead of selling the NAV, which they can't do, they're going to individually sell each one of these shares in the correct ratio and then buy the closed end fund, thinking that they own like products. They own the same thing, except one, they're buying for an 18% discount and one, they're selling for the actual price. So over time, as that premium or discount narrows, the arbitrage makes money. So if you did it back here, you could buy the closed end fund for a 10% discount to the net asset value. And then here it's trading at a 15% premium to the net asset value. It should really trade at about a 2% or 3% discount to the net asset value. But because of supply and demand, and because retail traders dominate the closed end fund trading, you're going to find some unique opportunities. Buying the stock Cuba, C-U-B-A, seems like a pretty good darn opportunity. You're buying it for 18% less than the value of the stocks. Now, can the market turn? Can cruise lines get hit over the next couple of months? Sure, of course. But even if it does, the basket of stocks is trading at $8. If it trades at $7.50, you're still getting such a big discount. This stock or the basket can go down 50 cents and you could still make money. Maybe the group of stocks goes up in value. And so now you're long 18% discount. If it goes up in value, you're going to be long, you're going to be at 22% discount, 24% discount if the Cuba fund doesn't rally. It's a unique opportunity. It's something that if you buy it, you're going to have to hold it. Watch the basket of stocks. If the market is strong, Cuba CUBA is a screaming longer term investment. That, my friends, is arbitrage. And that's called closed end fund arbitrage. I encourage you to Google it, read about closed end funds. And this is something that I work on with my coaching clients. A lot of these unique type of trades where we're looking for value kind of off the beaten path. Okay. Hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll reply to each one of the questions. Thanks, guys.